Okay, that's a good one to start safely in the fairway to get the tournament underway. We all know there is so much emphasis these days on power, hitting the ball long ways. We forget once in a while that you have to be able to put the ball in the proper places. That's what he's done right here. Yeah, par fives were designed as three-shotters, and this hole is definitely a three-shotter today. And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss hit the middle of the club, by quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. This will be a 14-foot putt here. All right, that's in for a bogey here to start the round. And he's going to fall back now to one over par. Here now at the first par three of the day, the 225 yards second. Bunkers front left and back, the only real trouble here. Now to the second, par three, 225 yards. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. That finished off for par, he was the second, and he'll stay at one over. Up next, the 460-yard third, a hole that is flat, long, and straight as an arrow. Great driving hole here on the first par four of the round. And that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Second shot, good look at the green.
And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss hit the middle of the club by a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. Uh, he gave that a pretty good run. A little short, but that's not bad. Nicely done. It is a par here at the third. And he'll stay right where he is. What a hole this is, Frank. Par 3 4, 250 yards, and we're, we're teeing off. Right in front of the swamp there? You might see the odd alligator pop its head up. Um, when you look at this, if you want to be clever, you can sort of hit a little cut in here, Rich, and then it'll, it'll work with that C-shaped green. That'll keep the tee shot away from the bunker that protects the middle. And uh, you never know, it might just sneak in a birdie. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. That's the cruelest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And that's going to move him back to two over par. Now to the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, are you straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway? Yeah, that's a nice swing and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Now a second from well over 300 yards. This will be about positioning. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at Birdie. And this is going to be working from his left to right. Not much pace in it at all. No, oh, the pace absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. Here now at the 440 yard, par 4 6. Water down the left side to avoid, and a couple choices here lay up short of the water crossing the fairway, or risk trying to carry it. 
See what you've got. Good work off the tee here. That is safely into the short grass, just left of center. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. This swing didn't quite look right on that one. Oh, it doesn't hurt to leave it short when you do that. Well done. That is a birdie from off the green. Here's another scoring opportunity, Frank, a par five. The seventh is just a shade under 600 yards. And it bends gently to the left, Rich. Longer hitters can obviously get home and nothing really to be worrying about with that second shot if you can reach. The wetlands are well to the right of this hole um, for the second shot. But uh, if you want to play to the three-shotter, then that's a very safe, conservative way and really shouldn't cause you any problems whatsoever. Gonna work this up that left-hand side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Gonna take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Should make this about 80% of the time. It's for birdie. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. On to the eighth. It's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of this green gives you like an optical illusion. You think it's lapping up with the front of this green, but there's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green, and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So uh, a tricky little par three. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. Pretty good line, very close to going in.
That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And he's going to fall out of red figures back down to even par. Finishing up the front side here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club with a par five, 621 yards. The ninth hole, Frank, is a muscular par five, 621 yards. You see why you got length is a huge advantage of this golf course, um, just under 7,700 yards. This hole here, another example, good tee shot. Perhaps think of going for the par five and two, but uh, great collection of three bunkers that sort of annoy you with your layup there. Got to make sure you avoid all of those to leave yourself a nice little wedge shot in here if you can't reach it in two. Still well over 300 yards to the flag, so getting this to a good number, the key here for his second. Third shot, looking for a good one. A nice shot and a good chance for a par. The statistics on the PJ Tour show that from eight feet, you make 50% of your putts. Are you kidding me? That looked like it was an... Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he'll drop back to one over par. We begin the inward nine at the wetlands with the lengthy par three tenth, 246 yards, three bunkers protecting the front of the green and anything long or left has a chance to be wet. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. <laughs> Lovely pitch shot. Just nipped that ball off the turf. Just flew through the air beautifully. Sat down fairly quick as well. Good shot. So that in for par to start this backside. And he'll remain right where he is. Par 4, 11th hole, 443 yards. Frank, what's the best way to play it? Nice straight drive off the tee, then uh, really reduces this par 4 to size then those bunkers short and left don't really cause an issue. Green's a little tiny though, but uh, even if you miss that green a little bit on the right side, it's a relatively simple chip. Yeah, all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green.
Well, really needed to look at that pin sheet because the flag's in the back. You've got to fly that ball further up the green if you expect it to finish up close. Oh, that needs to hang on. Well, you can't leave a birdie putt short, but this is far too firm, and this is going to run off the putting surface altogether. Well, that, not his finest effort, and it's going to leave a very anxious putt to save bogey. little tentative there and that'll come up short time to move on to the next hole par 5 12th here at the wetlands golf and country club is 576 yards first par 5 on this backside Stepping up to the tee at the first par five on this back nine. It's the 12th, and it is 576 yards. Yeah, this hole bends to the right, opposite direction to what 11 does. A good tee shot, and you can actually think about reaching this par five and two, but anything around the front or front left, it's still going to leave a relatively simple pitch shot. So when you stand on that tee, think of birdie at least here. It's so hard to bounce back after a huge score, especially when you're still reeling from it. But try and pull the screws back, back in the head there. Just take a little breath, maybe two. Decent swing. Don't try and kill it. Exactly like that. Really good shot. Well, just a good solid shot right there with that three wood, Frank. It's an aggressive layup, really, trying to force that three wood down and get it as close as possible to the green. That's two good shots if you can't reach the par five. Okay, not particularly close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, and it's a makeable one. There's not a great deal of break, not a great deal of slope either. It's got a good run at it. Yeah, he had a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll remain at plus four. Now to the par 4 13th. Frank, what are the options here? Well, another straight one required here, Rich. At uh, 450, it's not overly long in today's standard, but still, that fairway widens up where the longer hitters will actually hit. And uh, bunkers, once again, short of a green. So as long as you can fly that second shot to at least the front of the green, then they really do not come into play. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Got to think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. Hold it there. Yeah, well done. That putt had potential for danger, but that's pretty good. A 
Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll stay right where he is. Moving on to the tricky 14s here at the wetlands. It's 204 yards, but there is plenty of trouble out there. Good par three here at the 14th. It's a little bit more than 200 yards, Frank. And there's a bunker short. Um, so you've got to fly that coming in there. And uh, if you do miss time one, that's when that body of water to the right really comes into play. Typical Floridian golf, but um, high flying, soft landing tee shot once again is the goal. Okay, safely aboard. This for birdie now at 14. Yeah, and it's a pretty makeable one. Little bit of break from left to right, really not a lot. Right, that's what you want to do. Good lag, Pat. Yeah, they can't all go in. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain right where he is. Next up, the final par five of the day here at the wetlands, the 590 yard 15. Again, no bunkers or water in the landing zone. So it is time to give one a ride. What a great tee shot. Bisected the fairway beautifully. I'm not sure he got every bit of that three wood trying to get home to this par five and two but still in the ball game for a birdie. And that'll do just fine. The putter has not been at its best, but this a good look for birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. 16th hole at the wetlands is a par four, 455 yards. Once again, another reward for a straight tee shot, uh, but this green heavily guarded by sand. So good tee shots. Um, and well, this one, you're going to have to hit one of the better iron shots required at wetlands. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Uh, maybe a little too pumped up there. That just flew past the flag, but still an outside chance for a birdie. A birdie putt now at 16. And these are the putts you drill when you're on the putting green before the round. This should have a good chance to go in. Now this round finishing strong. Back to back birdies now at 15 and 16. Here we go at the 17th, it's a par three and it takes one good strike. That's what you like about par threes of this length, Frank, 238 yards, can't fake it here. You certainly can't and that green just shapes a little bit to the player's right. So the best shot to hit in here would be a little draw 
And uh, that is also the avenue provided by those two bunkers, one short left and the other one back right. Okay, that one's dancing. He's hoping here to at least get this to tap in range, but it is for birdie. You might like this one. You might really like it. I'll tell you what, lag putting such an underrated part of the game, and that is well done there. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And he'll remain at two over par. Final hole here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. It's par four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. There must be some trouble out there somewhere. Well, not really if you keep your wits about you. Just position the tee shot. You don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood's only going to leave a short iron. If you hit three wood, 250, 260 yards, do the math. It's only 120 yards left. <laughs> With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no, no. We don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. That's a head scratcher, that approach shot from uh, relatively close in. I would have been looking at 10 to 15 feet. This is a nine footer. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And he'll slide back now to three over par. And that wraps up another great day of golf here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. Frank, I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed the Gator Bites as well at the end of the day, Rich. Um, some good golf to be had. Florida's always fun playing on the Bermuda grass. And uh, once again, shout out to the uh, superintendent letting us uh, play in the tournament conditions here at the Wetlands. And now it's on to Gator Bites and a beverage. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner along with Frank Nabilo saying so long until next time.